Dear Dr. Thomas Jeffrey Miley, Department of Sociology at the University of Cambridge, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Um, what do you consider to be the significance of the HDP in Turkey? Uh, the HDP is the third largest party in the country. Uh, and the way that I see it, I, think, I see that the HDP is the hope for democracy in the country. Uh, very much uh, uh, its platform stands for uh, a kind of multicultural, multinational recognition of the Kurdish people, but not only the Kurdish people, but of, of, of all kinds of diversity in the country. Uh, and uh, uh, it is, uh, as I said, I, I say the fate of the, with the fate of, uh, it's, it's the true opposition uh, and uh, the fate of the democratic, the democratic credentials of, of the country uh, stand or, or fall with uh, the HDP. What does the repression and attacks against the HDP indicate about democracy and the rule of law in Turkey? Yeah, I mean, I think that the repression of the uh, of the, of the third largest party in the country uh, uh, speaks uh, uh, volumes about the state of democracy in the country, the lack thereof, uh, the authoritarian turn in the country. In particular, particularly since the breakdown of the peace process with the all-out war against the Kurdish people. Uh, and uh, uh, with the all-out war against the Kurdish people has, has, has come a severe repression of the HDP, uh, its representatives uh, uh, jailed, uh, its representative, it, it, the, the, the party repressed uh, brutally along with the repression of the Kurdish people. And, and uh, it very much indicates uh, uh, the authoritarian turn of uh, uh, Erdogan's government in the, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, lack of freedom in the country. Why do you think the international community, including the UK government, has failed to act against Turkey's repression of the HDP? Well, I think that uh, part of it has to do with the legacy of the uh, uh, war on terror and the anti-terror legislation, so that the fact that... Uh, uh, Erdogan makes claims about the HDP's links to uh, uh, the PKK, uh, makes it so that uh, given the uh, 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 fact that the PKK and the, is criminalized throughout uh, uh, the European Union and in the United States as well, uh, that uh, uh, it's difficult for uh, the, uh, these countries to uh, disengage with their own legislation, which criminalizes as well the Kurdish people. Uh, and I also think it has to do with the leverage that Turkey has uh, as a partner uh, in uh, NATO, as well as, a, as, well as a, a, an important trading partner uh, in a time in particular with respect to the European Union uh, against the backdrop of uh, uh, the rise of the far right across, across Europe. Uh, and uh, with the, the so-called refugee crisis, uh, uh, the, Turkey has played uh, an important role uh, in uh, 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 placating, so to speak, the fears of the far right uh, uh, in, in Europe. So there's a, there's a synergy between uh, the political climate in Europe and, and the toleration for Turkey. How do you think the international organizations and specifically the trade unions movement um, can act to uh, pressure their own governments and support the HDP. Um, yeah, I do think. I think, for, for example, the TUC's campaign uh, f with respect to the, the Freedom for Ojalan, I think, is an important one. Uh, 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 the Freedom for Ojalan cause, and I do think that uh, the repression of the HDP needs to be uh, uh, seen in in the light of the broader repression of the Kurdish people and the Kurdish freedom movement. Uh, and so rather than think about uh, uh, mounting a campaign for the HDP that doesn't mention uh, PKK uh, as a terrorist organization, it doesn't mention uh, the uh, over two decades now of inhumane uh, isolation of, of Abdullah Ojalan, I think that would be the wrong way to go. I think what you need to do is look at the repression of the HDP and the broader a history of brutal repression of the Kurdish people, a history that has uh, many decades uh, of, uh, uh, of a brutal state war against the, uh, against the Kurdish people. Over 40,000 people have been killed. Millions of people have been exiled. 
and uh, the last uh, 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 the the, the uh, repression of the HDP is uh, the current repression of the HDP is to be seen in uh, a longer history of repression of, of uh, uh, representatives of the Kurdish people, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, I think it's important that the trade unions uh, raise uh, that broader issue of uh, freedom for Abdullah Ojalan, the uh, uh, delisting of the PKK, and uh, the end of the repression of the representatives of the Kurdish people, including the HDP. Dear Thomas Jeffrey Miley, Department of Sociology at the University of Cambridge, thanks for joining us. Thank you for your comments today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.